Hello everyone and welcome to a Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd Edition The Troll Fins Expansion A full um, coverage review Coverage? No, ah, oh, scrap that uh, It's just literally my in-depth review of the Troll Fins So, what do uh, we get in here? Well, apart from a few bits and pieces Here the new book which contains um, uh, the, the uh, explaining some of the hero new hero uh, token abilities I'll uh, talk about that in the hero section um, it's a new condition which is the weaken uh, secret rooms that's ex uh, explained although they were already explained in the Lay of the Worm expansion. Uh, uh, more rumor cards, which, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a few more quest cards. Uh, but in this book, it actually uh, shows the uh, the mini campaign rules, which is that. So if you want to have a quick uh, game. But in a campaign setting, you have it right here in the book. <coughs> uh, the Lay of the Worm actually had one, but it wasn't in the book. It's actually found online. All right, so you have more quests. Now there's a little change in this. If don't zoom back, how dare you? Right, the rewards. Uh, there's, there's uh, quite a bit there, so you got your main awards, like if the heroes win, uh, they get the Workman's Ring Relic card. Uh, if the Overlord wins, they get the Taskmaster's uh, Ring Relic card. But there's additional bits of the, the hero receives 25 gold for every two objective tokens in their play area. And this one's got the, uh, if the Overlord has at least four objective tokens in the area, he receives the uh, Secrets of the Flesh Overlord card. And it's it's uh, the same in uh, the other ones as well. Uh, the main reward and bonus rewards here as well. Main main bonus bonus. Uh, uh, and then you've got the last two, which contains just the uh, normal reward with. Uh, the part in the advance quest card. Uh, if you're already aware of the um, uh, lay of the worm stuff, don't zoom in. Did I say zoom in? No, I didn't say. Right. Uh, yeah. If you already have like, the lay of the worm, then you're already um, know uh, how the quest stuff work. But if you don't. Uh, you have these cards, uh, and uh, they become bonus quests, really. There's a, a map for the troll fins. Right. How about let's uh, look at some of the main stuff. This is the secret room. <laughs> uh, the uh, secret room in the uh, Lair of the Worm was just a, a square. That, that's all. It, this is actually a shape. And it actually has some uh, water features in this one. Uh, so with secret rooms, those that you don't know, uh, you find these in the search cards. And when you find it, you can go into them. Uh, and uh, then you have like uh, some um, secret room cards to deal with. Uh, I'll get in more into detail with that. Uh, that's the other side. have got two water parts there. That's that's going to be a thing in this one. Uh, a nice shape there. Pits, that's the uh, indoors. There's the outdoors. Look at all of that water. Nice. Uh, this one, look at all this water. The log. Uh, so, do you want to take a safe route and go on the outside? Or do you take a short walk, but um, 
through the water itself. Of course, um, water does take up two movement points each. Uh, however, you do, do get to your destination a lot more quicker. But at the same time, um, the Overlord could be quite nasty there. Uh, that, that, that they could just uh, immobilize your heroes around here and you're stuck in the water uh, and it just means that you're really going to struggle with movement uh, yeah that's on the uh, inside all the waters around the edge how nice oh it spins there's a um, obstacle right there Alright, it still gets more interesting. Hold on. Uh, yeah, obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. It's just all, all the walls, really. Uh, on the other side, uh, more walls. Excellent shapes. Really interesting. There you go, another shape. Uh, so you've got water right there, more impeding movement. Uh, but nothing on the indoors side. A small one right here. Got a little drop, little water. Nothing right there. Uh, actually, I think I've missed something I wanted to show. Uh, yeah, and this one. You have water going along there, but look, that's pits. Don't really see many pit now, do they? So you've got the boring thing, the corners. Uh, unless you've never seen the corners before, then got the corners are basic. And just one more tile piece. <laughs> a a a four squared tile with everything going through. Like like yeah, that, that's that's. Yeah, yeah, you could use your imagination with that. Well, I am very pleased with the tiles. They're a lot more interesting uh, than the lay of the worm, guaranteed. Uh, sorry. Uh, a lot of water, obviously. Uh, this is mainly to do with the marsh lands. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased so far. Including with the book, uh, the uh, quest in there seems a lot more interesting, where you kind of have uh, bonus objectives. So, so far, uh, it's very, very good. Right, uh, the next part I'm going to look at. When I say look at, I've actually already looked at them, so I've actually read a few of these. Uh, so it, I, I'm going to try and make as much sense as I can. So right here you have your quests cards, or should I say rumours, because these three are your bonus quest rumour cards. And uh, the other three are just additional ones so if you do actually have the lay of the worm then therefore you're going to actually uh, more than likely put all of them together uh, well that's what you, you, you really should do anyway no matter what just play with the troll fence and the uh, lay of the worm and then uh, see how many rumours you can play and uh, what kind of bonus quest comes in and uh, what gets discarded Nice. Uh, I'm quite pleased with those ones. Then we have the um, uh, ru rumors. No, that's the rumors. These are the um, secret room cards. <sighs> so as soon as a hero comes in, you get to draw one of these. Who knows what it's going to be? Like something kind of lame, uh, unless it's not really all that lame, it's the uh, Room of Keys and uh, when uh, they complete it, uh, the, he <coughs> the heroes can uh, keep the card in the play area and uh, a hero may discard one for T token from this card 
to perform an open or closed door action without using an action. Uh, yeah, okay, that's uh, a bit okay, I guess. But it all depends on the uh, quest that you're playing. Uh, the others are a lot more better. Like, um, these are just four examples, okay? So, uh, any hero on the secret room may keep this card. You may discard this card at any time. Roll two red power dice. Each hero recovers uh, the amount of health equal to the uh, hearts rolled. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, awesome. Uh, most of them are actually pretty good. Uh, I'd, I'd probably say even a lot more better than the layer of the worm. So, still so far, the Trollfins is far more better than the layer of the worm. Let's try and put that to one side. Uh, we have got more travel cards, of course. They uh, seem to be quite fun. Oh, we have the new Overlord cards, the Infector, which um, you get to have these infecting tokens in. Now, the way how I see it is like the Trollfins is all about trolling players. That's uh, the Overlord trolling the heroes, and also the heroes trolling the Overlord. Although, just to be fair, it's actually more likely the Overlord trolling the heroes. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's kind of a pun there. But, for example, the uh, Contaminated, um, you actually keep uh, some of these cards in play instead of just play it once and discard afterwards. Uh, this is um, uh, all surge infection target, and uh, when you could discard inf infection to do uh, additional damage on the attack. Uh, there's plenty of more, like uh, this one: discard infection token from the hero before uh, rolling dice to add a shield bonus to their result. That's three monsters, of course. Uh, it goes on and on. Uh, yeah, discard two infection tokens from the target hero. Return this to your hand because this is a uh, uh, this attack gains one surge and one damage. Uh, I mean, th this this infection one sounds really fun. Really, really fun and intriguing, and you get quite a lot of them. Infection tokens right there. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, Act 2 um, quest stuff uh, with uh, the rewards. Don't, don't need to go into too much detail on that because I uh, don't want to spoil everything, that's for sure. Of course, you get two types of uh, monsters, the Harpies, or is it the Herpes? Oh, who knows? And the Plague Worm. Yeah. Uh, so you got a flyer right there won't do a lot of damage but it will definitely do the surge uh, because of the green it tends to have like oh, I've got, it's got about like four surges on the dice uh, and its ability is mainly swarm if you don't know about swarm then uh, the monster deals a damage for each other monster adjacent to the target yeah you, you wanna have uh, a lot of monsters about. Uh, yeah, of course, you have the Act Two versions of them, make them harder, so you get additional health on that one. But the yellow dice attacking, etc., etc. Uh, the new lieutenant, Bold Garef. Uh, right, he does Rampage. Rampage is a bit weird. Okay, so, um, 
Bograph uh, performs a move action followed by an attack action. This is just one of the skills things. So this attack affects each figure. Not heroes, it's figure. So it could affect yours, but sometimes you just won't care. Uh, within two spaces of each space he entered during this movement. And then after the attack is resolved, Bolgraf is stunned and weakened. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I, I'd, I'd uh, probably do that if there's about like three or four heroes, perhaps. Uh, let, let's, let's talk about weakened for uh, a moment. Now, weakened is a new condition. I don't know why I haven't got this bag open. Oh. Right, so weakened is uh, remove one uh, shield from each of your defense rolls and uh, one damage from each of your attack rolls. So you're receiving one less armor and one less damage. Uh, when you perform a rest action, discard this card or token. Well, that is the new condition. It's it seems quite uh, well. It's not too nasty, but it can be quite a hindrance. Um, yeah, I I I I think it's not so bad actually. Uh, you got new act one shot cards, uh, a belt, yeah, the another belt. Uh, I'm just trying to find uh, more f fun ones. Uh, like this one, it's like if this attack deals at least one damage, recover one damage. You got surge uh, plus two damage, and the surge weaken. Yeah, again, weaken is. Um, just to remind you, it's to remove a uh, armor bonus and a, a damage. Uh, we've got dire flail, and if this attack misses or deal no damage, you suffer a damage. Uh, it's all about the double surge, though. Plus three damage there. Got a nice trident. Uh, yeah, this map stone. Like what? Once join each travel step um, in the campaign phase, you uh, may choose not to draw a travel uh, travel event card. Uh, okay, this is only fifty gold. Uh, is it worth it? I don't know. It might be. Might not be. Um, a, a a decent shield, a deflecting shield. Uh, so you exhaust this card after on defense dice to add one. Uh, defense to the results then choose an adjacent figure that figure suffers one damage uh, I like the way how it says uh, choose an adjacent figure so um, yeah okay that that's a pretty good shield actually uh, and you got the Act 2, uh, a boomerang, someone's thinking of Zelda. Uh, if uh, an attack with this weapon deals at least one damage, unequip it, so you're probably going to be doing one attack at least, give or take. However, it can weaken the target, although dice especially. Uh, belt of Strength, a, uh, it's uh, a move, t uh, move monsters. Blasting rune, um, which is weird. Yeah, when a monster is defeated during an attack with this weapon, each figure adjacent to the defeat monster suffers two damage. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but it could be uh, neat. Um, when attacking a non adjacent target, add one additional red dice. It has reach, so you're using uh, the attack dice two red and a green. And it would more likely get the pierce of two. Stone armor, two black. Uh, you cannot suffer stamina to gain movement points. I mean, 
they're, they're all interesting uh, items. Uh, get three relics. I'm not going to completely um, reveal what they all do. Uh, you have to wait and see. Or you could just do what everyone else does and look it up on the internet. And I'm sure someone else will tell you. Uh, uh, you have the <coughs> two um, sorry, uh, two classes. The healer's class, the prophet. So you get one of these. And mainly it's all about uh, our, I will spend a stamina put this on you and then uh, that person gains a health and a stamina back <coughs> um, and then it's all about uh, deciding on uh, which um, what are you going to do with it afterwards because there, there's so much I'm sorry I'm sorry right where were we um, doing you could do so much with that. Um, like, uh, take it away, recover a heart, or, um, or, or I'm just trying to. F uh, each hero within two spaces of the hero that has the insight token may suffer two stamina to reroll uh, one attack die once uh, on each attack. Um, uh, discard the insight token to add two shields. It's all about that. It's, it's all about you get this, and then eventually um, I'll give you something in return afterwards when it, it gets discarded. However, it does cost uh, quite a bit of stamina every single time. So it, this 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 one is an interest one. It's just going to be a hard one to use. Of course, I will get into full, full details about how to use this class, just like all the other classes I've been doing. Uh, then you also have the um, Stalker class, which is actually sounds really, really fun. I am really pleased with this one. So uh, you have two one-handed weapons, uh, uh, a net which can immobilize, and a hunting knife which could uh, recover stamina. Uh, you have set traps, so you have a nice supply pile of traps right there. Uh, just place them on when you're near them so place them on when you're near them uh, as long as uh, you're right next to them uh, yeah shaky cami uh, yeah, uh, and then it, it's like as soon as a monster goes right next to it uh, well that's that monster's going to suffer damage uh, and it's like that with almost like the same oh I'm, I'm going backwards it's almost like the same with um, all this like you have a trap uh, near an enemy or it's near you you get to do this or you get to do that um, like um, let's see uh, how about the lay of land how about this? it's like any hero adjacent to a search token within free space of a trap token during their turn may suffer a stamina to exhaust this card and search the search token as uh, as it's what wasn't an action. So yeah, all right, uh, nice. Or or ambush the exhaust this card when the monster enters an empty space within free spaces of a trap token to immediately perform an attack. Uh, I, I mean, wow! Uh, this this class seems really, really fun, and I think uh, I would enjoy this a lot. 
because let's just say it's fun to kind of troll the um, overlord instead of the overlord doing the same however you'd only got like six um, traps they're not going to last that long though like I said it's so soon as one goes right near it uh, it activates to deal one, one damage anyway just because of the uh, set trap card it states uh, right that's the two heroes that you get in the box I'm going to get to put all of them together. What else do you get? Well, you do actually get a dice. Uh, literally, a dice. Just the one green dice. Of course, uh, this, this does require to have um, green dice anyway. So if you don't have the... Um, a labyrinth of ruin then uh, you'll get a green dice and if you have then obviously you get three look at that a surge uh, so you get about four in uh, six chance of getting a surge anyway All right, that's a secret passage so right, as soon as you find that that straight away That's unless you don't know anything about that. That's how it goes. Uh, the two heroes, of course, Angar Grimson. Um, so here, but it is um, each other hero. Notice it's got other and not uh, each hero, so it doesn't include yourself. Uh, so within three spaces of you, uh, gains each time a monster misses or deal no damage on attack targeting you recover one health um, and use during your turn each here in your line of sight so it, it will include you uh, recovers two health and two stamina his stats are well he's a dwarf anyway so free uh, nice bit of health there a, g a good amount of stamina that's for sure um, uh, uh, his might is um, Quite high, uh, and then you've got uh, Rogana. So each of your uh, attacks targeting a monster that is not adjacent to any other hero gains plus one damage on the result. I'll drop that. How do I? Uh, which is pretty good uh, since most scouts tend to be um, uh, away from everyone else anyway. That's a uh, good thing uh, about there and use at the end of your turn uh, until the start of your next turn each hero within three spaces of you may only be targeted by an attack if the attacking monster is adjacent to the targeted hero uh, 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 the hero feat is 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 is, is Actually, it's not really all that bad, really. It works well with uh, the Trollfin's, um quests because you have all that water, and if there's so much water, then the Overlord's more than likely going to have shooters. Um, yeah, that that's fine, as long as all the other heroes are near. Uh, so you have a uh, speed of 5, which is kind of typical for elves. Elves have about 4 or 5 health. Health? Movement. Uh, 10 health. Uh, uh, 4 stamina, which is a little low for a uh, scout. But uh, it's, it's, it could be better. It's still not all that bad, I guess. Hmm. Uh, uh, the willpower is quite high, but the awareness is not. Well, it's kind of um, uh, it, it, well. Two is tend to be about two or three is average, and for a scout to have a uh, awareness of three is well, I don't know how to explain that, but.
but let's just say it's a bit weird. Uh, yeah, so that's all that's in there. Uh, I I think I'm going to enjoy the troll fins a lot. Having um, to put all of these um, tokens in, which is the um, secret room tokens. Uh, so you got the Goblin Archer, uh, the four attribute tests, uh, the zombie, case spider, and of course the harpy. Uh, yeah, I I think I would actually give this a uh, maybe a eight out of ten. Uh, I I think there's quite a lot in there that's going to be quite enjoyable. Uh, the the scout class is going to be absolutely mental. Uh, the um, infector class, the infector ones are going to be really intriguing. Uh, and of course, the new condition weaken is going to be yet yeah, again interesting as well, along with the new shop cards. Uh, and I'm really, really pleased with the uh, new tiles that we get in here. Uh, yeah, so all in total, yeah. Yeah, definitely an 8 out of 10. By the way, just wanted to let you know, like, as soon as I opened this, uh, all of that was all covered because I had all of this. Uh, and it kind of made me laugh a little bit. It said, Beauty and the Beasts. Nice.